Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We're a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. Have you been going on dates and wondering whether you should start a relationship? Or maybe you just moved because you got a new job and you're going to school. Since you don't know anyone and want to build connections, you might be asking yourself, should I date and seek a relationship? Due to social norms, we may often feel pressured to date when we're single, but entering a relationship is a huge commitment. Have you been reluctant to try but not sure why? Here are seven signs you may not be ready for a relationship. One, you care more about finding the perfect partner instead of working on yourself. Are you constantly daydreaming about finding your Prince Charming or Cinderella? When you're walking down the streets and see many couples holding hands or listening to love songs as you're waiting for the bus, it's normal to think about who your ideal soulmate is. Love is exciting when you meet someone you share chemistry with, but relationships always require work in order to survive. Getting butterflies in your stomach isn't ultimate love. Sometimes Prince Charming or Cinderella will let you down and it won't be perfect. Don't spend all your time and energy finding someone who meets every requirement on your list. Instead, work on being the best version of yourself. Two, you're still working on your goals and discovering who you are. Do you want to travel and see more of the world or join programs that help you turn your hobbies into potential careers? There's nothing wrong with doing you. In fact, soul searching is an incredibly rewarding experience. That's when you get to reflect form connections with great people and do more of what makes you happy. Three, you want someone to save you. It's not romantic to have someone save you from your problems or misery. If you're unhappy or want an easy way out of your problems, a relationship is not the answer. You can't expect someone to be your hero or stop the hurt from hurting. It's dangerous to use relationships to distract yourself from your problems. In fact, this can even attract toxic partners who feed off of codependent behavior. Live your life actively and don't wait for someone to show up. If you need help, that's normal and healthy. Surround yourself with supportive people who can be there for you on bad days. Four, you wanna save someone else. You can't change or fix someone's damage. When you wanna rescue someone from their bad habits, you will consider them more as a project instead of someone you want to be in a relationship with. Although it's possible to fall in love with someone you want to save, this doesn't create the best or healthiest relationships. Trying to change someone who meets your expectations will only leave you with disappointment. Everyone has the capability to change, but through their own will and at their own pace. Five, you still frequently think and talk about your ex. You can't control when or who you meet, that's why life works in mysterious ways. Unfortunately, that's how timing can sometimes be off. Just when you think you're ready to be in a relationship with someone, they may still be recovering from heartbreak and hung up on their ex or vice versa. If you're having a hard time recovering, check out our video, five ways to deal with a breakup. Six, you have a hard time apologizing or admitting when you're wrong. There's one word that describes what every relationship needs, compromise. If you have a habit of thinking you're always right and would rather hold on to your ego instead of making things right, then you may want to hold off entering a relationship. Focus first on learning how to own up to your mistakes. Reflect as often as you can and become more self-aware about the decisions you make. Everything has a consequence. Seven, you're emotionally closed off. If you have a tendency to keep your walls up, then you may wanna work on being vulnerable first. Practice with your friends and family or a therapist. Being in a relationship means allowing someone to see you for all that you are. It's the only way for someone to love you honestly. But if you have a habit of holding back, you must work through your fears and trust issues before committing to someone. A healthy relationship is about two people being able to take risks and grow together. Do you feel uncertain about dating or beginning a relationship? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. 
We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!